Let's be entered into prayer today. We're asking Reverend Joan Patterson in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. She's the first American citizen state, not first American born. We got her, all right, but the first American citizen coming from Italy uh, as a great missionary in our country. Uh, recognizing that she had to overcome plenty of fears and a, and a lot of resistance in her life, she pressed on. That was a good example for us to think about um, moments in our lives we have pressed on. We thank God for that, but moments we've given up uh, when, the, when the battle became too tough. We ask God again for the gift of his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious sins. Therefore, Therefore, I ask blessed Mary and her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America by her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and all those in need, and by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> from the second letter of St. John. Chosen lady, I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another, for this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh, such as the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we work for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father, and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying, selling, planting, building, on the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who's on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. challenge you to uh, let yourselves be made uncomfortable a little bit with some of the, the readings that are coming up. I said that, you know, Sunday, about the next few Sunday Gospels, but we'll see it too through the weekdays. This is one of those Gospels I think that can allow us to, to be a little shaken, a little like, wow, like two people like that close together doing the same thing. One's taken, one's not. One looked back, one was worried about maybe their, their family. Oh, don't look back, right? Stay focused on the Lord. So it certainly calls us to continue our focus on the Lord. Father Cabrini was someone who did that, not just in a fear of end times, but in a sense of, of mission her entire life. Growing up in, uh, in, in Italy and, and trying to, to join convents there and, and become a missionary to, to China, she's never got the opportunity. They said her health was too weak. Instead, Pope Leo, uh, it's kind of cool, like when you grow up in Italy, you can kind of have the Pope as your spiritual director, I guess, so... Pope Leo said, no, I think you should be going to America. You're, you're dreaming east, but you're called west. So uh, apparently with a great fear of, of water and drowning, she set out uh, to America. A trip she ended up taking numerous times, 30 times, back and forth across the Atlantic, uh, conquering her fears. And, and so for about 35, 37 years, she just skipped across the United States, mostly to the urban centers. Think about, you know, in about 1880, uh, she starts coming over, living till 1917. So really that turn of the century, post-Civil War, lots of urbanization, lots of immigrants being left behind, right? Just working ridiculous amounts of hours, not getting to church, and she just has this sense of, of schooling and education and orphanages and eventually hospitals. But what she realized she was really trying to do was, was re rekindle a fire they had in Italy as kids, and they just lost. They got caught up in the working and the earning and the, and, and the neighborhood life. And so she's saying that, look, St. Paul had his great conversion, but what good is that if he doesn't stay on fire? There's a lot of trouble in the world. So a few of her quotes. I figured a feast day is always best spent listening to the saint themselves from Mother Cabrini. The world is poisoned with erroneous theories and needs to be taught sane doctrines. But it is difficult to straighten what has become crooked. I think she said that like six months ago, right? The world is poison with erroneous theories needs to be taught sane doctrines, right? We measure ourselves on so much of, of, of earning and shopping and spending and, 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 and a bigger house and then, and then a camp and then a bigger car and then, and, wow, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's hard to straighten what's crooked. So who's she writing to? To the people themselves who are converting to her sisters who are going out and doing this work? It's hard. So what do we do? We pray. We must pray without tiring for the salvation of mankind does not depend upon material success, but on Jesus alone. When I looked up her life, it was interesting how many websites wanted to mention her journeys, her travels, the ability to open up 50 institutions uh, in, in just 35 years. But I couldn't find her quotes. I had to like, directly look for her quotes. I thought, man, these sites are great. They tell her a quick story, but they're failing to give us her heart. 
How did she have so much success? Not that she was just a driven woman. Pray without tiring, for the salvation of mankind does not depend upon material success, success but Jesus alone. What happens if your own efforts get twisted up and, you, and you're losing focus? Our last quote I want to share today, our last quote. What is when we kind of, kind of lost our sense? If you are in danger, if your hearts are confused, turn to Mary. She is our comfort, our help. Turn towards her, and you will be saved. Right? The world's in a bad spot. It doesn't depend on us but Jesus. And when we get spun around, turn to Mary. Together we stand and we bring our knees before our God. Let's continue to pray for our church, for the great missionary effort of our church, those going to, to parts of our world right now that are most in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own country, for other parts of, of our world, and societies that are just kind of caught up in, 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 the, in the earning and the, in the working and, and forgetting the Lord and leaving him behind, that they might have a re, refiring of their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, those who are suffering, those who have been abandoned by family, the, the hearts that were most attractive to Mother Cabrini, may those lives today find someone who is attracted to serve them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for our own country that continues to be a, a renewal in the, in the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved deceased in a special way today, we pray for Joan Patterson, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Can we take a moment and bring to God the other prayers, petitions, which rest in our hearts this day. For one another's needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Look, God, we thank you for the great zeal that you filled St. Francis Xavier Cabrini with. Allow us to have that same passion to continue to seek out souls for you. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Francis Cabrini, we uh, be conformed, confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts.
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my life, but only say the word.
us continue to pray with our friends at home, a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of blessed Francis of Brini, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Continue our prayer for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation, and mother of the church, in this, in this time of illness, illness and worldwide pain, we, we seek your intercession for the human family, family before, before your son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength, strength and adversity, health and weakness, and comfort in this hour. Help us, O Blessed Mother, to be, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender and compassion of your God. Let us not be afraid, like our own Saint Mary and Co., who entrusted her life and ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Have a great weekend. You too, Father. A little adoration afterwards if you have time today to stay. <clears throat>